That was a fair old racket, heroic ones. And by Ursun it actually worked. Hardly saw a twitching tail or a beady eye. Well, except for all the busy ones around the skitter gate. Busy, busy little rats. So busy I could easily glean some useful information. Yes, crucial information. The skitter gate will be up again sooner or later, but first, only at minimal capacity. This is when I will go through it. Well, not me personally, of course, but I have my methods. When in Norska, I will take good look around and see what I can come up with. And yes, I have established a secure path for me to get back down there. But should it be compromised, I might need another distraction or two from you lot. Ah, you return. With the summoning thwarted and both health and dignity intact, I can live with that. Nurgle demons on the loose, however. Ah, uh, no. So, I suppose you did well. Now, after the scuffle, some friends of mine had a look around the summoning site and found proof that a secret Nurgle cult was active in Helmgard prior to the invasion. The Society of Harmonious Growth and Splendor. Ah, these cults worshipping the Dark Gods always have the most pretentious names, don't they? <laughs> anyway, the cult was receiving orders from an old acquaintance, at least by name. Hail Scourge. Verbal spew Hail Scourge. Ring any bells? Well, no matter the state of your memory, he is a rot blood sorcerer lord and currently in command of the Northlander forces around Helmgard. So, there you have it. Oh, I can smell your success. Literally. <laughs> like Lona's special recipes. <laughs> anyway, we'll have less of the Bile Trolls terrorizing civilians for a while. But don't delude yourselves. The Pact Sworn ranks are still full of the disgusting brutes. And yes, while you were feeding trolls, I received answers on certain inquiries I've made. It seems like preparations for the Bile Troll production were underway long before the invasion. Yes, Helmgard's own hey. secret Nurgle cult. The Society of Harmonious Growth and Splendor was in the mines doing bad things under orders from Sorcerer Lord Aylsturge. Did I mention he was also the mysterious emissary who signed the pact with Clan Fester in Stromdorf? No? Well, now you know. Burble spew hail scourge. Not bad, heroic ones. The winds have calmed. My bridge should be able to get you home safely now. I have also learned a thing or two about Clan Fester. First off, they are quite desperate as their breeders, yes, the Skaven females, are yes. suffering from some apparently incurable affliction. It's known as the Brood Blight, and it affects the sole reason for the breeders' existence, which is, of course, their fertility. Here is where Raskinit appeared, promising Clan Fester a cure for the Brood Blight in return for the capture of Ubersreich. So, after nearly escaping death by your hands, he went missing for some time. Upon his return to Clan Fester, he somehow managed to blame the defeat in Ubersreich on the former now dead warlord of Clan Fester. Yes, Rasknit was never the leader of Clan Fester itself, only in charge of the Ubersreich assault. That is what they do, lead when it suits them. So now we have Grey Seer Rasknit in command of the Skittergate and the pact with the Rotbloods and a new warlord of Clan Fester named Skarik Spinemangler. I will let you know when I have more on both of them. Huh. I appreciate your unrefined, yet somehow successful effort. The bell had to go, and you did your part. Is it likely they will try to mend it and bring it up again, in short? Yes. Where there's vermin, there are bells. No way around it. Anyway, I have some new tidbits of information. 
The new warlord of Clan Fester, a brute by the name of Skarik Spinemonger, is all brawn and no brave, which could work to our advantage. He is apparently a new addition to Clan Fester, perhaps sent from their superiors, Clan Pestilence. It would help explain the presence of plague monks among Fester's forces nowadays. There were none among their ranks during the assault on Uber's Reich, remember? My sources tell me Pestilence wanted no truck with Fester, in fear of contracting the brood blight. But apparently this has changed. I'd say the Skittergate and the Pact with the Rotbloods helped along the sudden change of heart among the Plague Lords. They would not pass up an opportunity for conquering the right land, after all. Braxen Brooker should hold, at least for now. Lona's got folks scrambling to man its walls, and should you free any more prisoners, they now have somewhere safe to go. I bet you are dying to know if old Alicia has any more news on the rat men. I can tell you she has. First, I have learned that sending out rat men to the elven ruins in an attempt to mess with my bridge of shadows was not done by Rasknit or some rot blood potentate. And since Warlord Skarik is just far too dense to have come up with it, evidence suggests there is a new power working behind the scenes in Glenfester. Second, I know exactly where Skarik's spine mangler is nesting. An idiot like him in charge, seeing that first only to benefit us. But being only a pawn, with a cunning master pulling his strings, taking him out will only be a good thing. Trust me. Uh, you weren't fast, you weren't pretty, but you did slay the idiot warlord. And that, my heroic friends, is definitely worth a cheer and a beer. The rat men are viciously fighting each other. Chieftains being killed by the scores. Clan Fester's numbers are dropping by the minute, and work on the skitter gate has been halted for now. We've bought some time. And I would not be surprised if there'll be less vermin guarding the Skitter Gate now. How come? I predict that the remaining chieftains, who are holding up a safe distance from the Skitter Gate, will surround themselves with as many loyal clan rats as possible, until the worst of the infighting and paranoia dies down. All in all, good progress. Ah, there you are. Good. Saving a few lost wretches might not sound like much, but it all helps. The prisoners were to be used as slave labor to work on the skitter gate, clearing up debris and excavating new tunnels. This means we've delayed the completion of that cursed gate at least a little bit. Now, let's talk about the Rotbloods, and more specifically, their champion. His name is Budvar Ribspreader and his horde is laying waste to the countryside. I think Kruber laid his lovely eyes on him just before your daring escape from the Grey Seer's paws. We must stop this fiend, but I'm ashamed to say I don't even have his main camp located yet. Ah, but uh, trust me, I am working on it. Oh, -ho! the arsonists are back. Well played with fire and black powder. Lots of hungry bellies in the Northlander camps tonight. <laughs> I hear the Rotblood champion, Butvar Ribspreader, is quite upset with us. First, we free his slaves, and now we've burned up his food and loot. I feel obliged to find more opportunities to annoy him. And yes, I almost forgot. I can confirm that Usingen's Baron Eustace Franke had dealings with this secret Nurgle cult active in the area and left the town right before the Rotbloods attacked it. I hope we can someday lay our hands on him to mete out some justice. Justice for Eustace. <laughs> so, the monolith's buried. I suppose that was well enough done, but considering the collective amount of heroism in this group, I expected a bit more. Can't say what exactly, but truly great heroes never settle for delivering exactly what you want. They go one step further and give you something more precious, something you didn't even realize you truly wanted. Next time, try to surprise an old woman. Huh?
Now, speaking of surprises, we have one plan for the Rockblood Champion, but I'm afraid it's quite urgent. So, go talk to Loner as soon as you are ready. Ha! That shut that stinking champion up. As I suspected, the new champion will obey the orders from his superiors in Norska. They want him to concentrate on raiding and gathering slaves, not chasing some little insignificant troop like us. So the search for our keep has been called off, and we can go back to what we are doing. A good day for all of us. Seer dead and Skittergate destroyed? You have regained my respect! I confess, you lost a lot of it when you were trapped and fooled by that lousy grey seer. But with this grand finale, I can only say, well done! <laughs>